Now, some of us would give anything to see Saturday Night Live's Chris Farley return from the grave and be back on our television sets. Well, thanks to Canada Sun News, guess we're getting the next best thing? Rob Ford. Sun Media is reporting that the Right Ring Opinion Channel is giving what Stephen Colbert calls the Chris Farley tribute mayor, Rob Ford and his brother Doug Ford, a new show. Saying that, quote, the brothers have agreed to terms with Sun News to pick up where they left off with their much listened to show, The City, on News Talk 1010. Now that show ended its run last week and a lot of people missed it last Sunday. So you heard it, Rob Ford is now getting the Sarah Palin treatment. We can expect him to bring the entertainment like he did yesterday speaking to reporters at a city hall. Take a look at this. Oh, and the last thing was um, Olivia Gondak. It, it says that I wanted to eat her <laughs> Olivia Gondak. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. Thank what you very much. And the reactions from reporters are priceless. Take a look. <laughs> I, I know we're up live right now, but I don't know if we can do it. I, uh, Mayor Ford speaking as Mayor Ford does very plainly, as he said in council yesterday, he effed up, and now using language that I don't think we can broadcast that on TV, but we just broadcast that on TV. Councilors at City Hall are not impressed with Rob Ford's comments. Hey, deplorable, Tom. disgusting, Tom. appalling, unacceptable, offensive, atrocious to our city, to women, to everyone. We turned our backs on him on council today. We can't take him seriously. We don't, you know, it, it's it's hard, but we're functioning and we're trying to stay focused. But, you know, he's not addressing the issue. And then he exacerbates the problems with comments like this that are so demeaning to women. He needs to duct tape himself in the meantime because it's, it's unbelievable. I think that simply saying I'm sorry and that was impulsive really isn't good enough as a woman in the city of Toronto. Those remarks earlier were vile and vulgar and it wasn't the first time. This is not becoming of a mayor of this great city. Now we have the apology that she was referring to. Here's what Mayor Ford had to say about his actions. Yesterday I mentioned it was the second worst day of my life except for the death of my father. For the past six months, I have been under tremendous, tremendous stress. The stress is largely of my own making. I have apologized and I have tried to move forward. Here we are again talking more Rob Ford. So first of all, tell us what's going on over at Sun News. Uh, you know, some people might think that the mayor should take a little bit of time off get his house in order before returning to doing this uh, TV show? Yeah, well, uh, basically Sun News is, uh, is we call it Fox News North here. So it's, it's pretty much the equivalent in Canada. And uh, so it's no surprise that they've chosen to put the Ford brothers uh, on the show. Their, their radio show was quite successful. So uh, there is one barrier, however, for the show. Um, election campaign laws here in Canada stipulate that you can't be a television personality at the same time that you're running an election campaign. So if Ford declares his candidacy for mayor in January, as he said he's going to, then he's going to have to give up his gig on Sun News. So uh, the show may be pretty short lived. All right. If only we could keep people that are running for office off TV here in the U.S. Uh, no, no, I'm totally kidding. But I've got a tweet here from uh, this. This one shows the cover of the Toronto Sun, which is Mayor Ford's Mayor Rob Ford's foul meowth drops jaws around the city and the world. Ford drops a pee bomb, and the city council has kittens. So I imagine the local press is uh, is having some fun with this. Absolutely. I mean, it's complete pandemonium here. I think uh, every journalist in Toronto feels like uh, they've been working 24 hour days for the past uh, four weeks. And it seems like this is one of the largest stories in the world right now, which is which is really, really strange for for Canada. <laughs> now, Michael, uh, you know, how are people in Toronto talking to children about this scandal? Because we've got an article here from The Huffington Post that says that school field trips to City Hall have actually been canceled. Uh, you know, can you tell us why? 
Yeah, so the, the, the field trips have been canceled um, largely because of just the media circus that's descended on, on City Hall. Um, there's like a, about 100 media outlets that were there, at, were there at the height of the scandal, and there's a large amount there. There was a huge scuffle between uh, reporters and the mayor's security yesterday. One cameraman said he was punched in the stomach. There's video of that. So it's not really a, a, a particularly safe environment for children, and uh, the, the building itself has declared that, so no school trips are allowed. And uh, that's sort of notable because actually the day after uh, Mayor Ford made his crack confession, he actually did bring a school tour through his office and took a lot of pictures. So uh, he's not going to be able to do that again, at least for the foreseeable future. Now, you and I were saying yesterday, you know, that there are some elements to this that are uh, that are very sad. And of course, you know, you, you, everybody wants Rob Ford to, to be able to get help, uh, to get everything together. But, you know, he's been saying that this has been one of the most difficult weeks of his life. At the same time, it's hard to, uh, you know, not also have the desire to mock him and laugh about it sometimes. And so last night, he just got torn apart on the late night shows. Take a look at these clips. Have you purchased illegal drugs in the last two years? Yes, I have. For the record, the pause before Mayor Ford to answer that factual yes or no question was eight seconds long. <laughs> eight seconds. Uh, we don't know what he was thinking in the interval. But we think it might have been this. Have you purchased illegal drugs in the last two years? Yes, I have. Going through the headlines, perhaps. Maybe in those eight seconds, Mayor Ford was truly trying to remember the last time he bought crack. Or... Maybe he was uh, doing the Homer Simpson thing, exhorting himself not to say yes before blurting out, yes, don't. Right. Top 10 thoughts going through Rob uh, Ford's moment of mind at that very moment right there. Number 10, is he talking to me? Number nine, oops, number eight, yes, and I'd like some now. Number seven, what would a crack smoking Winston Churchill say? Uh, number six, uh, no questions about Newfoundland. Number five. <laughs> number five. Uh, I don't remember. You should be talking to my crack dealer. Number four. I'm not an addict. I'm just stupid. Number three. Crack, 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 crack. Oh, Michael. Clearly, clearly this is not going away anytime soon. I have a feeling that this is, uh, you know, the shows are going to continue to rail on, on this, this story and this scandal, especially if Rob Ford keeps talking. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's like the, uh, the top shared story on our, on our website right now. So it's, it's pretty, pretty wild, the reactions coming out of the comedians.